Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Bug Nice coming at you with the amazing Yamaguchi Revel Tech Gambit figure review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel legends. Imports. Many maybe I'm fucking with. High beast we know about. You. Stay buying figs. Don't know about. It. Real quick look at the box. On the uh, left flap, you can see it says Figure Complex Amazing Yamaguchi, powered by Revel Tech. Let's make this a night to remember. It says there under Gambit. Another picture of Gambit series number 12, uh, sculpted by Yamaguchi Katsu Sishu, Susisha, whatever the hell that says. On the front, other side, picture of the figure there. Bunch of stuff here on the back. All of these amazing Yamaguchi boxes always look amazing. Always really, really colorful, vibrant, and uh, very attractive to the eye. And there's always one of these little inserts inside the packaging that you can take out. And it usually has some great moments in comic book history for that particular character. So you can see a few different scenes here. It looks like Gambit's up there with the Marauders. And he's kicking somebody here. Maybe that's Bishop. I'm not sure. It looks like he's with Storm there. And obviously charging up a card there. And then a great splash page in the middle there. So that looks great. All right. So I've got Remy Lebu, a.k.a. Gambit, out of the package here. Like it said on the package, this is Amazing Yamaguchi's 12th offering from this particular comic base line. And I have all 12 figures. They did Deadpool twice, once in his Red Pool outfit, once in his X-Force outfit. And uh, just when I think I'm out, they pull me back in, man. So Rebel Tech has got me again with this one. I was, I was losing a little interest. I don't know, with the last figure that I got, which was Psylocke, I got a little upset because one of the pieces broke off. I think it was like her sash in the back had broken off. And I never even went back to the figure to... Uh, opened it back up and fix it since then but wow I was messing with this guy for quite a while before I started recording and um, this is a really fun figure if you don't know Amazing Yamaguchi makes uh, very weird looking figures if you try to pose them uh, in a vanilla stance they are made for dynamic posing it is uh, a line that I have recommended and have advocated for uh, anyone who wants to learn how to pose and wants to be a better poser and uh, this figure is one of their best, I think. I really, really like this guy. Really fun. I've already broke out the stand, which I never do. All Rebel Tech figures come with a stand. I've already broken out one of his accessories. But I'll go over, go over everything as uh, intricately as I possibly can. So if you don't know, Gambit is a mutant with the ability to uh, kinetically charge items with uh, explosive energy. And one of his go-to items or his go-to items are cards. He will charge them and throw them and blow up his enemies and what have you. He was created by Chris Claremont. I don't remember the year. Um, but one of my favorite X-Men from the uh, 90s team, no question about it. Uh, out of the package, he came with one left-fisted hand and then the one right hand that was semi-open that allowed him to hold his card. I'll double back to that. But he does have two fists that you see here. Also, it should be noted in the little packaging with the stand uh, was two extra uh, pegs, Rebel Tech uh, style joints, actually, in case one uh, somewhere on the body, I guess, breaks. And actually, the pegs that you have that are replaceable look like they may be for here uh, at the back of the coat or here on the shoulders because they're brown. Uh, maybe it could go here too, but anywhere where there's a brown peg, it uh, doesn't, lo doesn't look like you have any other replacements. But there's a look at those wrist pegs, very small. You should be careful as you interchange his hands for sure. And then he's got two hands that are open and cupped. It looks like the trigger finger is extended on both of these, but these are made for him to hold his kinetically charged cards. And one card here is the Ace of Spades, I believe. And then one is, and the other is the Ace of Hearts. And you can see that that uh, plastic there over the cards is sort of translucent. So these will probably get some really nice light piping. No issue with them holding either one of the cards. And you can see how they look on the back. So the paint is through and through. Really nice job with these effects. He's also packed in with his trusty bow staff. And it should be noted that the hands are cupped. Uh, but, you know, you can get items all the way through and through in the hand. You can have him hold his staff with both hands or just one hand. It is a pretty uh, sturdy plastic. He's been known to charge his staff with energy, too, and kind of strike the ground or strike his enemies with that. 
Uh, so a lot of playability with the cards and the staff and you can do whatever you want to do here. I do like this a lot. Like I said, a lot of options with uh, the staff and the accessories and the posing. Gambit is also uh, very agile. That's part of his mutant abilities too is that he is super agile uh, and so that lends very well to uh, Rebel Tech. You know, they picked a, a great character here uh, because he is so agile and because the Rebel Tech figures are so articulated. He's also packed in with a set of hands that are open with the finger slightly spread. These can be utilized to hold his staff or mess around with his cards as well. Would have been nice to get some cards that were not charged with any energy effects. Uh, that would have been perfect for these particular hands, but moving on. And then his final set of hands are a set that are open with the fingers sort of fully spread, I guess you can say. But these have a little peg hole right in the center of each hand, which allows you to plug in one uh, final accessory that he has, card accessory that he has. So both of these here are all one piece uh, that plugs right into the palm of his hand with a little peg. And uh, it's about five cards. You have five cards uh, connected to each little piece and these are translucent you can't really see any um, uh, indication of what type of card it is or anything like that I guess this is supposed to be when uh, the energy is uh, fully charged in the card uh, right before he's about to uh, disperse them or let them go and these should look really good under some great light piping and I'll show you the little peg you can see how that looks focus yeah, so that's pretty cool. Really nice effects here. And then aside from that, his head's coming off. Aside from that, he does have one extra interchangeable face. And the face detaches from the top of the head hair piece. You just pull it down. Let me grab the other. And there's a look at the interchangeable face. So obviously the face is not like highly detailed. It's very anime-ish, but this one has his teeth showing with a more angry look on his face. So obviously you can use this for action shots. And not bad. The hair looks good. It's windswept, but does, it doesn't really bother me too much. And that's pretty much it for accessories. So as I've mentioned, this guy is super articulated. I probably won't be able to go over every point of articulation in one go round. There'll be some stuff that I'll miss. But uh, for the most part, uh, all of the joints that are Revel Tech joints uh, rotate and hinge on that joint and all of those joints are removable so anywhere you see a rebel tech joint you can remove it you can rotate it you can hinge it that goes for every part so you get a very good range of motion everywhere throughout this figure head and neck is a separate piece uh, I'll let you see how this joint looks down in here the collar is a separate piece look there's another rebel tech joint in there down in the neck the shoulder pads here can come off just about every joint could come off. You can remove the legs here. You can see how that looks. You get a really nice range of motion in the torso, upper torso and the lower torso, and you can turn them left to right. The hands will swivel and hinge. Everything is double and damn near triple jointed. This jacket is not as extravagant as say Magneto's cape, which was a pain in the ass. I didn't really like that. So this is just a Rebel Tech joint on these two flaps here, but you can also rotate uh, the shoulders here at this joint. Um, I mean, there's uh, so much articulation. Like I said, it's too much to even go over. But Rebel Tech joint at the knee. Uh, this is hinged here. Uh, you can actually even pull this out if you want. He actually rotates here at the upper boot as well. Uh, hinge and a swivel on the foot and a, and a nice deep ankle pivot plus a toe joint. I mean, there's articulation through and through this guy. Uh, you know, it'll be more difficult for you to get him in a vanilla pose than it will be to get him in something dynamic. All right, I got to get up out of here. I didn't really do any size comparisons. I'll do some of that stuff on Instagram, I guess. I really hate the way this looks right now, but it's developing. So <laughs> give me a, give me 24 hours or so to get something up on Instagram. But Gambit here came out really nice. This is uh, definitely one of uh, Revel Tech's uh, best from the amazing Yamaguchi line. Lot of fun factor. That's really what, what this is all about with this guy. I got a new backdrop that I want to try out with this guy and try out the Tamashi explosion effects with them. And a lot of things I want to do here, lighten up those cards. There's a lot of options. I said a lot, a lot. But good figure. I got him about 65, 68 bucks directly from Japan. I guess like 75 with shipping and stuff. Domestically, you're going to pay a bit more. Uh, I think it's worth the 70 bucks. It's it's a good solid release here. So as always rate comment and subscribe 
And until next time, peace.